Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI behavior tree, the decorator blackboard node. I've gone ahead and set up a basic behavior tree sequence here. If we go ahead and run this, we're going to find it's going to travel down our left side. It's going to run our sequence, wait two seconds, wait 10, wait two, wait 10, and it will continue indefinitely, regardless of anything happening inside the actual behavior tree itself. So let's add our decorator node. We can go on any sequence or any task add decorator and add our blackboard decorator node. What we're going to do is by default, let me reset this to none. Your blackboard key is going to be set to none. Now, the, if you pull up a blackboard node, it's automatically going to set itself to the first blackboard key if you have one available. And I do in this case. So keep that in mind. You need to set two things for the most part to have the actual blackboard node work properly. One of them being your blackboard key. What is going to be checked inside this decorator node? In our case, it's going to be the player. What do we want to check? Well, we want to check and see if our player is set or is not set. Simple as that. Set in this case means there is a value in there. It's not equal to null. It's not equal to nothing. And is set means it is equal to null or is equal to nothing. So in our case, we want to make sure our player is set. Now, for example, I'm using the example service I've created here. And what this does is it's going to go ahead and find the player, set them as the player object, and then wait five seconds. After five seconds, it's going to set the player object to nothing. So it's an easy way of observing this Blackboard node. Let's go ahead and run this. And we're going to go ahead and see it run. Now on the left hand side, we're going to see this working. Based on the player being set, it runs the information below it. It runs this sequence. So it runs wait two seconds, then it runs wait 10 seconds. And then it reevaluates the sequence node, and then it will continue on. Now in this case, if we look down here at our player, we're going to find when this starts, it's going to be set to null. After one second, I set the player, and then it goes ahead and it fires off again. So when we watch this, whoops, hit hit play, and watch the bottom right, we have a player here. This condition is now valid, and it runs our nodes. But now if we look, we have no player. But because we're in the middle of a task without any way of aborting it, it's going to finish those 10 seconds before it fails this check and then goes on to our next selector node. So what can we do about that? Well, that's what our observer aborts section is for. So we discussed this in the general decorator video. I'd want to set this to self. Now what we're going to see happen here is this is going to run because it's successful. When this changes to none, it's going to fail immediately. This is going to turn into a valid none. And then it's going to run our next node in our selector. Because this will continue to fail, this will never fire again. Our player is now set to none. We are saying only run this if our player is set. And it's going to continue to fail over and over and over. So the other option is is not set. And basically, you can think of this as, is this value true or is this value false? Is something there? Is something not there? And you can't technically use true and false because true will return a valid value. True or, I'm uh, sorry, a bool will return a valid value of true or false. This has to be done with a key that has a no value. It cannot be done with something that has a valid value like a bool. A class could be nothing, an object can be nothing, but vectors, rotators, floats, bools, all will have default values, even if they're a zero for the value. So in this case, if we set this to is not and we run it, 
what we're going to do is we're going to find it successfully ran in the beginning because we didn't have a player. And then after one second, our service gave us a player. This reran again and it said, oh, well, we've got no player. We've got a player now. So we're going to fail. When it failed, it went back to this node. And then after this node ran a few times, our service said, well, here you go. We don't have a player anymore. This reran again, the condition, and said, oh, we have no player again? Okay, let me have it back. So if you watch it, you're going to watch it flip-flop between the left chain, no player, right chain, player, and then back to the left chain once we have no player again. So keep in mind, these will reevaluate every time it comes back to here. So in terms of our case here, this fails, comes back to here, runs the next one. This finishes, goes back to here, runs this node again. And remember, that's the way selectors note. Every time it runs, it goes from left to right until it finds something that runs. Then it comes back up and goes left to right. So the other options. Now, we have our on result change and our on value change. These are going to cause a little bit of confusion, so I, have to, I had to rig this example up in a specific way to show it. Result change is whether or not the result, which is here when we're running, let's go ahead and run this, is changing from a valid to an invalid result. So right now it's valid, generic character. Now it's invalid, none. That is a result change. When the result change happens, then the observer fires off and then this runs. We're going to abort itself. Now, if I was to change this to value change, and I ran this, what you're going to see is if the value changes down here, this is immediately going to fire. Now, you may be thinking, what is value? What does that mean? Well, this is what the value is. I've gone ahead and changed our service here to instead of making it null and no object, to make it the pawn itself, the AI. What's going to happen when we run this now is you're going to see our value here change from our generic character to the generic AI character. Now this isn't going to work because I have this set to is not. We set this back to is set player. We set this to result change. Let's go ahead and watch what happens here. So this is going to start running. We have a generic character here. Then it changes to generic AI character. Now if you watch these nodes, you'll notice it's still waiting 10 seconds. Even though we told this on the result change to abort, it didn't abort because our result did not change. Our value changed. So if we watch this again, what you're going to see is it waits 2 seconds, waits 10 seconds, waits 2, waits 10. In the middle of our waiting 10 seconds, our value down here will change, but we will continue waiting 10 seconds. Let's run that and watch. So our value down here is generic character. We'll be in wait 10 seconds, and now it's generic AI character, and we're still waiting 10 seconds. Nothing happened. We change this to value change, and we run our example. What you're going to see happen is when this value down here changes to generic AI, this will abort and go back to our starting sequence. So this aborts based on the value being changed and starts over because remember our value is the value it holds and our result is the result if it's good or bad. So that's something to keep in mind. An example of that is if you have a service here and the service is finding a valid target. If it finds no target at all, you may want it to stop moving. If it finds a different target, you may want it to then move to the different target. So you need to keep that in mind. The value may be a different target. The result may be if you have a target or not. So that's it. That is how our, our decorator Blackboard node works. It's very simple. Its intention is to watch Blackboard values and do something based on the result. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.